Okay, let's pray. Dear God, thank you for this day. I hope everyone be safe and healthy at Juniper Christian School and does their SAT at weekend well. And for the midterm, I hope everyone gets their best grade and effort, puts their best effort on midterm. And for the marathon, hope everyone does well on marathon. Nobody gets hurt too. And everyone does their best effort today and go home safe. Thank you. Oh, then do you think we'll talk about fashion? Yeah, yeah maybe. As uh, some of my students might tell, you can see I kind of took some time today to uh, prepare all my clothes. But unfortunately, I'm not the best one to be an example of good fashion. So we are going to see some of our students, our fashionistas in schools. Yay! Okay, now you might not be here, and it's okay, don't get offended, you might be a fashionista, just my homeroom students, based on their opinions, we chose some people, so we're going to see their pictures, and you're going to guess, and if you are brave enough, you can raise your hand and say, that's me, but if you're not brave enough, maybe somebody next to you gently point, this is the person, because some of our elementary school students may not know who that is, so if we can get some music, please. Let's see our JCS fashion show. Okay, then I guess let's make music with our clapping. All right. That's it, is set number one. Any, anybody knows who that might be? Yes, you can just say the name. We don't have too much time. Grace Cho, so we know Grace. Caleb. Caleb? Oh my goodness, Caleb? Which Caleb? No, I cannot kill it. It's a girl. <laughs> yes, it's Esther. Mason. Okay, now we have more. More coming. Let's see. Oh, uh, not Emma. Rena. Yes. Anybody recognize? Yes, Mr. Chanu. Oh, yes. You can tell Emma. Just three more. Have some hopes, you might be here. Christine, not Christine, Grace, Grace from seventh grade. Anybody? Yes, it's Mr. Chewon or Chewon. And last, Miss Helen. Yay, let's give them a hand. Thank you for participating in my sermon. Now, um, honestly, how many of you this morning, without showering, just with, uh, washing your face, brushing your teeth, I don't know, makeup, whatever, how many of you took 10 minutes or less to get ready to come to school? Oh, okay, all right, all right. Then how many of you took more than 10 minutes but less than 30 minutes? Oh, really? Even over here? Oh, okay. Who took more than 30 minutes to get ready to come to school today? Ah, okay, so we have a few fashionistas. Oh, I see, okay. Now, based on fashion, what do you think today's sermon will be about? How to? How to wear clothes? No, don't ask me. You should ask some of our fashionistas now. Okay, anybody recognize the title of the sermon? What shall we wear? Yes? No? Nobody? Peter, can you raise your hand? No? <laughs> Wait, nobody? Nobody has seen that verse on the Bible? It is actually in the Bible. Yes. Oh, yes, it's about not worrying. Brendan, I wonder how you knew, but yes. <laughs> oh, really? Oh, Missy, I told you guys. Wow, you guys were paying attention. Let's give a hand to our first graders. Good job, first, second graders. Yes, so we're going to read some of the Bible verses related to not worrying. So let's read it together. This is from Matthew chapter 6, verse 27 and 31. Ready, begin. Worrying can add a single hour to his life. So do not worry, saying, what shall we eat, what shall we drink, or what shall we wear? Pagans run after all these things, and your heavenly Father knows that you need them. But seek first his kingdom and his righteousness, and all these things to be given to you as well. 
last verses, to not be anxious about anything, but in everything by prayer and petition. Thanksgiving, we send your request to God, and the peace of God, which transcends all understanding, will guard your hearts and your minds in Christ Jesus. Okay, so based on these verses, does it say that we have worries or we don't have worries? We do have worries, right? So that's part of life. We do have worries. So here it says, do not worry, because people usually worry about what to drink, what to eat, or what should I wear. Now, I had a question. What do our students worry about? As you know, um, I am a doctor, so that means I did a lot of research. So I wanted to do some research with our students. So my sample for this was grades 1 through 8 and 10. Sorry, I forgot some of our high school students for some reason. <laughs> I apologize. Next time, you'll be on my sample next time. So what worries do you think you guys have? That's Science. just a few. Science? Oh my goodness. <laughs> Who's your science teacher? OK, yes. Math. Who's your math teacher, Selena? <laughs> yes. English. English. All subjects. Anybody Chinese or history? No? Yes. Your life. OK. I think some of the 12th graders can relate about my life. Yes. Justin? Any worries? About the Bible? OK. All right. So here, I asked some students, and I know it's a little bit hard to see. But those with a good eyesight, can you see some of the words that I wrote? Yes. Yeah. So what does it say? Yes. Yeah, so these are a few of them, not all of them. So some people are, you know, boyfriend, girlfriend. And some people are they're scared of uh, nighttime, of the dark, being by themselves. Appearance. What do you think they wrote about appearance? What are what do you think people will worry about their appearance? Be confident. Say loud. Your teacher cannot hear anymore. Nobody? Eyes no sleep. Eyes no sleep. What about them? It's too like flat, it's too small. Well, appearance, apparently, some of you are worried about your height. <laughs> so there was I I should be at least one meter and 87 centimeters. I don't know why, but very specific. Okay, something about pets, it was they are worried that your pet would run away. I don't know which, which pet it is, but that they would run away. Uh, something that was concerning was, I wonder if I die, if in heaven I'll see my parents. So some of you might be wondering that, not just you, but are your loved ones going to be in heaven with you? So let's see other worries. What else do you see? Situations and disasters. I was surprised. I guess we care about our you know, community. So we had a lot on COVID or the earthquake that happened in Turkey. Now, concern for others was somebody's health. So if my mom was sick or my grandma was sick, they would write it down. And disaster is like, what if AI takes over the world? <laughs> so that was very futuristic. <laughs> maybe, maybe we might live that long, or you guys might live that long to see that happening. Okay, so let's move on to this side. What else do you see? Finances, trouble, expectation from others, concern from others. Okay, so some of you were concerned that you might get punished from the teachers or the parents. I read it, I'm like, oh no. <laughs> Hopefully you didn't. And the other ones was, you know, if my parents are able to pay for schooling, etc. And some of you have expectations from other people. You know, maybe your parents tell you, you know, you need to get all A's, you need to get all 100%. And Dr. Lee tells you, you need to go to an Ivy League, to the best school, etc., etc., etc. So you have some worries about that. Okay. Um, as you mentioned, test was a big one. Homework, your classes, your grades, your GPA. This was surprising. <laughs> anybody? Anybody can relate games? 
it was not just one person, two people said that they are worried they wouldn't reach like a certain level or that your gaming skills will go down. <laughs> I was like, okay. And others, many, not just two, I think three or so, they wrote about sleep, that you are not able to get enough sleep. So maybe we need to ask our nice teachers, maybe we get less homework, maybe. All right, last one, especially for our high schoolers, but I think even an eighth grade wrote about future and college. You know, what am I going to do with my life? Like Daniel Nam is having a life crisis, you know? <laughs> so what are we going to do? Now, this is the question of the day. When I was looking at your concerns and I saw like some science here and there, I'm like, oh my gosh, are all the students worried just about science? So the subjects that appear were science, of course, math, of course, Mr. Lee, I don't know. But then we, we also had English, and last we did have US history, Mr. John. Okay, so from those four, which one do you think has the highest vote? Those We are doing something. Uh, no, I was happy. I'm like, whoops, it's not science. Then which one? It's not science. <laughs> Surprisingly, not math. Surprisingly, not math. Yes, it was English. For US history, can anybody guess how many votes US history got? Zero. No, if it, if it got zero, why would I say it? <laughs> Hello? <laughs> U.S. history got only one out of my all samples. But then the thing is, remember, oh, that's very strange, Mr. John, because only U.S. history is ninth grade? Ninth grade, you take history? Yeah, yeah. What is it? <laughs> so I didn't sample ninth grade, Mr. John, some clues. I sample only 10th grade. I didn't sample 11 or 12. Then one of the 10th grade is concerned about U.S. history. Oh, no. So this is the poll. So English 8, <laughs> then we go math 6, science 5, history 1. Lucky Mr. Tommy, no Chinese. So good job Mr. Tommy, <laughs> they're not concerned about Chinese. Okay, so here we saw, and you already know, we all have worries. Now what do you think we have to do about all these worries? We, we should pray, yes, you already went all the way there, but before that, we should not worry, right? So, so simple. Now, the question is why? So what does the Bible say why we should not worry? So let's briefly read the verse again, one, two, three. Who of you, by worrying, can add a single hour to his life? How many hours are there in a day? Okay, mental math, those good with math. How many minutes are there in a day? 24. <laughs> 24, 24 hours? 24. Is that right? Math, mental math? Oh, maybe that sounds right, right? Okay. Now, if you worry, I don't have enough time to do all my homework. I don't have enough time to do all my I ready. Can you make the day be longer? You can't, not even a second. We every day have only 24 hours. That's why the Bible says you can't do anything about it, so don't worry. The second question, oh wait, I forgot. To relate to our younger students, anybody worries about I ready? I ready? You know, I heard that when you guys were doing the diagnostic text, some of your parents were trying to encourage you and they said, if you do very well on the diagnosis test, I'll buy you a present. <laughs> maybe, we can, <laughs> maybe we can have high schoolers do that too so you can get some present from your parents. So worrying, am I going to pass this lesson? Am I going to have, do enough I ready, etc.? It's not going to make you do better in I ready. Now I want to, I guess, um, Talk about my, this is actually a classmate I had back in the US, high school classmate. His name is uh, Billy. And the reason I still remember him is because he was the Christian club praise leader. And I have him as a friend in Facebook and I found out 
he's an animation character. Anybody knows what game that is? It's from Valorant, yes. So I wanted to show you what he does because it's pretty cool. But think about it, if Billy just worry about, oh, you know, are people going to like my character? You know, if I do this move, that move, whatever, is it going to work? If he was only worrying about it, would he be able to have all these nice effects? Just worrying? You know, just, oh, you know, how am I going to do this? How am I going to do this? Not really, right? If you worry and you do something about it, you might have what uh, done what he has done. Now, there's another reason why we shouldn't worry. So what does the Bible say? Let's read it. Ready? But after all these things, and your heavenly Father knows that you need them. So let's see who was paying attention in Mr. Pauline's sermon. Miss Pauline said something about qualities of God. So what were some of those qualities she talked about? Oh, God. Yes, omniscient. And what did omniscient mean? He knows everything. What else? There's uh, another quality about God. Nobody? I don't know if she mentioned it, but nothing else? God only knows everything, does, does it? Uh, it's similar to that. Uh, yes, powerful. What's the, the word for he can do everything? Omnipotent. Yes, we are learning some vocabulary words. Yes. So, God, he knows everything. He can do everything. Does God love us? Yes. Yes, he loves us, right? So imagine all this powerful, all-knowing person love us. Then does he know that you need new shoes? He doesn't? <laughs> Does he know that you need new clothes? Wow, I guess nobody needs clothes or shoes. Okay, all right. Then what do you need? You need good grades? You need 1,600 on your SAT? And you need uh, acceptance letters from the school you want to go? I see. Well, maybe those are things that you need, or maybe those are things that you want. So a few examples. And I think I actually saw somebody wearing this brand today. So <laughs> I was still wondering. I don't know what the logo means. I thought it was a bird, but then my husband is, is it a banana? <laughs> so what is the logo supposed to be? Angel. Oh, angel. I didn't know. Angel. Okay. All right. So if a few guys are growing, you eat a lot, and you're growing taller or sideways, etc. If you need new clothes, would your parents know that you need new clothes? Yeah, right? If hopefully they care enough about you, they should know you need new clothes. Maybe they don't buy you this very expensive. This is very expensive. So if you see anybody with this logo, it's like, mmm. <laughs> and these shoes, you know, the first time my husband showed me those shoes, they look like old style like all like scratch or dirty, whatever. I'm like, you know, who wears those shoes? And then I saw the price. Oh my goodness. <laughs> and I think one of our students actually has these shoes. So I'm like, oh my goodness, you know, so much for shoes. But if you need shoes, if your shoes are ripped or they are too small that you cannot walk on them, would your parents know? Yeah, they should know, right? Hopefully they do. Or since we had a new semester starting, maybe our students needed more stationery, some cute stationery. Or if you needed a backpack, your parents would know. Most likely you don't need to tell them, right? Okay, we are getting there. Okay, so we have worries. We shouldn't worry. Then what should we do instead? We need to pray as we read in the Bible verses. We'll read it together. Ready, begin. Do not be anxious about anything. In everything, by prayer and petition, with thanksgiving, present your request to God. And the peace of God, which transcends all understanding, will guard your hearts and minds in Christ Jesus. Now, in a sermon that Miss Pauline did before, too, a long time ago, she said something about praise. What did she say about praise? What is praise? No, we are not paying attention, or we don't remember. Anybody remembers what you said about praise? Kind uh, of praise worship is a prayer that has a melody. Okay, you can ask me something more about it. But 
the Bible says, do not worry, instead pray. So what we decided to do with my wonderful homeroom students was to actually praise, and they are going to be today's guest. So I'm going to have our homeroom students come on up. Yes, let's give them a big hand. 